And lastly, book review. So we have The Shield Spotlight from 2004 from IDW Publishing. So this takes place after season two of the series. This shit was awesome. So this comes all the way from Fayetteville, Georgia. Fayette County Public Library. Thank you very much for letting me borrow this book. Uh, we'll have it back to you within a few days, within a day or so. It's due today, but <laughs> oh, well, I got it read. So here's my thoughts on this shit. And oh man, there's so many thoughts on this. Uh, it took me back to simpler times. Because when The Shield came out, I was still in high school. Yeah. I didn't get into this till around, I think, after the Armenian Money Train. So that was season three. I love this fucking series. Warship the ground it broke each year. I'm due for a rewatch because, man, this comment takes place post season two. So I know what happens next. Money Train Heist. Spotlight follows the murder of news anchor Kelly White, who was investigating Clarence Gibson for political corruption and ties to corrupt cops. And this really looks good. Fucking Mackie and shit. Oh my god. Too much fun. <laughs> what makes it really stand out is this from 2004. The year I graduated, but the story is set in 2002. Just before The Shield would break the TV landscape forever. And that's really a true fact. Because The Shield started in 2002, but didn't really... I mean, it's it started off hot, and I'm kept staying hot, but it really went to fucking scorched earth and when it hit the three. Uh, everything before season three was child's play. I remember the warning episode about the school shooting too, because that was one to two years after Virginia Tech's happened. I love these covers here; these are beautiful. Danny's is probably my favorite for it. Oh, man. The best treat for reading this was hearing all their voices again. Yeah. When you watch a show long enough, you hear all the voice talents and shit. And, oh, it's so good. One of the things I love about eidetic memory. Too amazing. Uh, solid 9.2 out of 10 for sure. It's still a bitch that out of the whole cast, Michael Jace would be the one who would end up in prison for murdering his own wife. <laughs> Irony. There's Lemmy. Good old Lem. Sean Ryan created the true gem of the 2000s that can never be reproduced today. Fuck no. <laughs> and also in this, not just the murder of Kelly White was going on, but uh, Shane had a plan to jack a painting that was worth Two million and steal the money, and that didn't work out either. But look at that, he got the intense. <laughs> Love Vic Mackey. Michael Chiklis, fucking amazing. And it's weird because, rewind the clock back to the nine, well, actually late 80s, early 90s, he did the commish. So now you have two sides of the coin with him and cop rolls. You got him as, as the commission, and you have him as Vic Mackey in the shield decades later. And man, did he really do good for himself, Danny's cover. And this is such a stellar story. But if you hate Sean Ryan, you hate the shield, you hate cop stories, you aren't going to like this at all. But if you happen to enjoy those combinations, you are going to have a great time with this. I promise. But everybody's picky. And this is a fast-paced story, too. I got this done in 54 minutes. <laughs> That's a new record for me. Because most comics take me about an hour or so to read, depending on what they are. And their length, too. This one's only 114 pages. 130 pages. No, not 30. It's like only 124 pages or so. Pretty average comic, but still. Wild shit. I like that shot. Looks so good. <laughs> yeah, I love my cop shows. I love it all. And of course, after the comic, you have an afterword with Sean Ryan himself. And Michael Chiklis. And CCH Pounder. And, of course, the other titles from IDW that you can get and read yourself if you want to. 
I have this one here to read, actually. And I've read um, some of 30 Days and Nights, so catching up slowly. I don't know what the fuck happened with this book, though. Like, it looks like they took the cover apart. Or the binding fell apart and they rebinded it. So, yeah. So, <sighs> good times. Great stroll down memory lane. I will be getting the series at some point. I don't know when, but uh, I'm excited. So, <sighs> until next time, like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers.